What's up, y'all? Peace, peace, man. I'm finna make this video about cancers, alright? And it's gonna be titled <laughs> Cancers Are God, okay? And um, I'm not saying this to be cocky or nothing like that. To be honest, I'm not even for y'all, but just me dealing with cancers and all the other zodiac signs, I had to do a video about my cancers, alright? Y'all, I got you, boys. So if y'all, sun is in cancer, moon is in cancer, rising is in cancer, this, this is the video for you. All right. So first thing first, we gonna say this: emotions is what connects you to the Creator. All right, to the to that divine feminine energy. All right, and and water. My bad. Water is emotions. All right, and Cancer is the first water sign. All right, one one of the first signs that we're really truly connected to God. All right, I'm gonna break this shit down. All right, Cancer is ruled by the mother, which is the moon. All right. I'm not sitting here saying the moon is the divine feminine energy, but it is it is one of the closest heavenly bodies that is one of the closest to that energy. All right. The moon represents the mother on our chart for a reason, because it's the one that wants to teach and, and nurture and give wisdom to. Unlike Saturn, Saturn is more of a tester with it, too. He's the father. So he's going to test you, but he's also going to help you out. The, the moon is just going to show you the truth. It's just going to give you the, the easy way out. All right. It's also a cardinal sign. Cardinal signs are, they are self-motivated. They are highly positive. They are very powerful. They have, they are, they've, um, they possess magical powers. They are the first signs of every sign. All right. They are the big bangs. Without them, there will be no other signs. So without cancer, there will be no Scorpio or Pisces. All right. And also, let me tell you this, man. Um, let me look for it. The opposite of God is the devil, all right? The opposite of God is the devil, okay? The opposite of good is bad. The opposite of light is dark, all right? The opposite of cancer is Capricorn. Now, if you understand that Capricorn is ruled by the planet Saturn, and you do your research on the planet Saturn, Saturn is nothing but Satan, which is one of the master deceivers and master teachers, all right? And the opposite of God is the devil, I just, as I just showed you guys. Cancer is God, alright? It's one of the only signs that can manifest like that on, on the physical plane. They, they, are, they, they manifest on a daily basis, alright? So you have to understand, you have a gift, you have a power given to you by the mother, the moon, alright? So what the crab does is, the crab goes to each and every one of the zodiac signs, y'all. And it brings out their light, their God, all right? And it's, this is this is what cancers do. This is why they are naturally good nurserers and et cetera, et cetera. And um, the opposite of cancer is Capricorn. And what happens is cancers can easily get depressed and suffer from anxiety. And um, the reason why is because they are being attacked by the planet Saturn, all right? Let me tell you this. The planet Saturn rules depression. Okay, and if you're heaven and if and if this heavenly bodies rule something, that means they're the god of it. Alright, so Satan, aka Saturn, is the god of depression. Depression is nothing but a demon on your back, alright? Demons attack the good, alright, to corrupt the good and turn them into and, and pretty much turn them into the bad. Okay. And demons are not going to attack other demons, all right? They're going to attack the good, a.k.a. the gods. So this is why cancers suffer from depression and anxiety, because they're being attacked by their opposite sign. This is why they suffer from the uh, opposite, the, the bad traits of Capricorn, okay? And um, also, let me see. Also, this is where we get the symbol of the cancer, all right? If you turn your phone sideways right now, y'all, Y'all are going to see what I'm talking about, all right? Y'all are going to see a 6 and a 9. Now, if you know about numbers being the language of the universe and the language of God, Saturn is the 6th God, all right? It is the 6th planet, well, the 6th dead star from the sun, all right? And so making it the God of the number 6. And in the divine feminine energy, 
y'all y'all have to y'all have to stay with me the divine feminine energy in the and the divine number is the number nine all right nine is a divine number all right it spirals up the six is not the six spirals down cancer possesses both the good and the bad god and the devil the light and the dark all right this is what makes it a complete sign because to be honest you can't be too much of one you can't be too much of feminine and you can't be too much of masculine all right cancer possesses both all right this is nothing but a six y'all and this is nothing but a nine don't believe what they tell you about this symbol man this is a six this is a nine and it's showing you right in front of your face this is this is what makes them a completed sign all right and we're gonna we're gonna continue y'all if you understand that the number 13 is christ consciousness y'all are gonna y'all gonna i'm gonna blow y'all minds with this one the number 13 represents christ consciousness aka a christ men, uh mental mentality all right and if you understand that it's not really 13 it's actually the number four okay because if you do numerology you actually would add that one with that three and it will give you four which is a completed number all right there's four elements there's four zodiac signs really all right and then throughout those four cardinal zodiac signs you have the rest but it originally is four of the first signs all right but look at this y'all Cancer rules the fourth house and is the fourth zodiac sign, all right, on the zodiac wheel, making it the god of the number four. What did I just tell y'all, numbers are the language of the universe. So when I see cancer, I don't see cancer, y'all. I see God because it, it is the fourth one. You got Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and then God, all right? And the opposite of God, like I just showed y'all, the opposite of God is the devil all right the opposite of cancer is capricorn now look if that's not the devil then i don't know what it is all right and the planet that rules capricorn is satan do your research man i cannot make this shit up y'all i cannot make this shit up all right look the moon is the mother the feminine energy it doesn't say the ultimate divine feminine energy but it is the daughter of the ultimate divine feminine energy all right and it rules our inner child and our inner mother, all right? This is it, man. This is the nail in the coffin. What did I say about your mother, man? Your mother is the real key to divine feminine energy, all right? And also, also, it rules our unconscious self, all right? A.K.A. our subconscious self, all right? Our subconscious self is just, when you dream, that's your subconscious self, all right? Going to the dream realm all right your subconscious self is god all right and the moon rules that okay so like i've been saying for the longest the moon is god the the symbol of the, the constellation cancer is god all right this is why cancers are so all right this look cancers could either be really really nice and nurturing and caring and uh just fantastic people or they can be really evil and uh, mean and aggressive people and almost you might you might think in your head, well, this person is crazy. It's because they can't just they have to balance themselves. All right, because they're either working in their sixth self, which I just told you. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun, making it the god of the number six. Numbers are the real language of the universe. Hear me out, y'all. Or they could be working in their ninth self, which is that divine feminine energy, which spirals up. OK. This is what makes them a complete sign because if they can balance themselves and go within the middle, they will literally be a perfect sign. But the thing is, a lot of them are unstable. All right. A lot of my cancers are unstable. They're either working in their sixth self or their ninth self. All right. So make sure y'all know this. Y'all have to understand this about yourself. Y'all have powers. All right. Y'all are very psychic. All right. I know they said, um, I believe, I think they said Sagittarius is one of the spiritual psychic signs. And they, they, they like to put cancers at the bottom. But really, cancers are at the top when it comes to reading other people and things like that. They are the first water sign. All right. Water signs. Water signs possess. Possess magic all right and they can they can get into other people uh other people's minds and their aura fields all right this is why the moon is the mind the seat of the soul okay i cannot make this shit up man and the moon is one of the closest heavenly bodies that's connected to the, to the divine feminine energy all right so this six and this nine is nothing other but this right here masculine energy and feminine energy all right cancers have to learn to go within the middle and 